Good evening, everybody. When I started this, um, you know, I could sit here and listen to Dr. Meyer all day. Uh, your passion and your commitment to keeping the memory of Marc Antonio, the legacy, the contributions alive, is invaluable. Uh, because we all know that too often it is the brave and those that really stand up for their ideals that oftentimes get overlooked, right, in the history books. At least those that we know really had a true commitment. And so I, I've met you along the way, Dr. Meyer, and I, I really appreciate all that you're doing and everyone uh, that is part of the forum and continuing uh, this, uh, you know, th this, these kinds of activities so that the memory lives on. And Lulu Lolo, thank you as well. Um, you know, when I ran for office back in, uh, in 2005, uh, one of my political mentors, uh, Gloria Quinones, uh, who from, is from El Barrio, and uh, has lived there many years and, and having been raised, you know, sat me down and she was one of my early supporters, but she really wanted me to know about Vito Marcantonio and about the progressive legacy, right, that he embodied in representing El Barrio. As a Puerto Rican, I'm even more grateful because he was a true ally for Puerto Rico and for the independence of the island at a time when many were afraid to speak up. And he was our voice, he was our congressman, as Dr. Meyer was saying, um, and stood up against the repression of the independence movement, against the nacionalistas, um, at a time where it was very difficult to do that. And so him being vilified for the ideals that he stood up for, uh, he stood up for us, and all the more in tune with the repression and the inequality that existed in terms of the colonial status of Puerto Rico. So we, as a community, are very grateful. And I think that that aspect of his advocacy and what he represents is one that needs to be learned. Because there are many on the island that don't even know, in Puerto Rico, don't know who Vito Marco Antonio was. So there ne needs to be a reminder. So I really want to thank the forum for all the work that he does. And, and today, as we commemorate the life of Vito Marco Antonio, a resident of El Barrio of East Harlem, a defender of human rights, and a well-regarded elected official of the people and for the people who we today continually show our appreciation as the embodiment of a true New Yorker. Vito Marcantonio grew up in a progressive community of Italian, Irish, Jewish, Puerto Rican, Black, Caribbean immigrants who made and still make East Harlem their home. It is no mistake why he became one of the major leaders in his time of this community that continues to be a microcosm of New York City and the rest of the nation. Marcantonio, the humanitarian, work towards ensuring that labor, social justice, civil rights, and the American dream should be achievable for all the residents within his community and across the United States. As an elected official, Vito Marco Antonio had the community stand behind him and continually elected him to Congress and his leadership allowed him to be a force within the American Labor Party. Vito Marco Antonio in the US Congress showed how he was committed towards not only his constituents, but in sponsoring and supporting legislative actions that impacted everyone. His legacy can only be described as his commitment and love for the human rights we should all share. Vito Marco Antonio was well known throughout all of the communities that made up East Harlem at the time. The vision he shared at the legislative level today continues to be a work in progress. We strive in furthering the agenda that Vito strived for. And like Vito Marco Antonio, I have had the opportunity to spend time uh, on 116th Street and Lexington Avenue, the lucky corner. That is a really hot spot during election season, as you can all imagine. Whenever I have the opportunity in my community to be at the Lucky Corner, just a short walk from my legislative office, putting aside the social media cell phone, it is always eye-opening and continues to be to re-energize me in working towards the betterment of my community and our city. He has left a legacy for all of us to continue and strive for a humane society. And as we look at some of the changes, and obviously, you know, any one of us that tries to even live up to the ideals he represented, you know, we pale in comparison, right? But we continue to be inspired. And that is the reason that I decided to run for office. That is the reason that I wanted to be Speaker of the City Council. That is the reason that I supported uh, someone like Bill de Blasio, who wants to bring an inclusive vision that this city belongs to everyone and that we want to progress and that that progress is something that uh, is, is something that belongs to everybody. Um, so, very, uh, not an easy road, as we know. We get vilified along the way, and there are those who don't agree, uh, but we would continue to think about and reflect on what Vito represents, and that is something that inspires me. We have a proclamation, which I would like to share, and I'm not gonna read all of it. I'll just read an aspect of it. I'll put it, you wanna hold it for a second? Yeah, I have this one, yeah. 
So I'm just going to read a part of it. So it says, you know, part, it has these whereases, and it says Vito Marco Antonio was born on December 10, 1902, and grew up in East Harlem when it contained the largest little Italy in America and attracted Puerto Ricans to an area that emerged as El Barrio. After graduating from NYU Law School, Marco Antonio became Fiorero uh, La Guardia's aide de camp, campaign manager, and political protege from 24 to 34, and won LaGuardia's congressional seat in 1934, the year after he helped elect LaGuardia the mayor of New York City. From 1935 to 37, and from 39 to 50, he served East Harlem in the House of Representatives. This 14-year incumbency represented the longest tenure served by a radical figure in Congress, and we all know what happened to him as a result. Be it known that the Council of the City of New York is proud to honor the inspiring life and indelible legacy of the Honorable Vito Marcantonio for his outstanding service and enduring contributions to our city and the nation upon the 60th anniversary of his death on this 9th day of August in the year 2014, signed by myself as Speaker of the City Council and by Andy Cohen, uh, who is uh, the council member that represents this area. Uh, so again, thank you all for being here. Uh, please know that you can count on me. I was just telling Lulu Lolo that I'm actually surprised that we don't have a street name for Vito in El Barrio East Harlem, and we got to work on that. So we'll figure out where would be the most appropriate place to do that, but that's a commitment that I give here today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Melissa Mark Viverito. Roberto. We can all move a little bit to the side. Hat on or off? Thank you. Thank you.